Chrome Tools by TechPilot Labs is a cloud-based solution that puts teachers in control of Chromebooks in the classroom. This video provides a brief look at the teacher tools. After logging in, a teacher is ready to use the teacher tools area and can follow the instructions at the top of the screen. Step one is to select a class from the list, which was already populated with the Google Classroom classes for that teacher. Step two is to deselect any students that are absent or not in class that day. And step three is to click the Start Class button. The default class length or end time can be changed, and the Start button begins class. During class, the remaining time is displayed, and a button is available to quickly extend class by five minutes. When a class begins, Class View immediately begins showing thumbnail screens of the entire class. The site name and URL for the current tab are also shown. Thumbnails update at least once every 10 seconds. Class View makes it easy to quickly spot when a student is off task. Here we can see that Tyler might be trying to log into Instagram. So we will switch to Device View, which will zoom in for a larger view of Tyler's screen. Device View also lets you expand a screen for a larger view, which would be ideal for displaying on a classroom projector. In addition to the large view of Tyler's screen, Device View shows a list of all open tabs on the student device. A teacher may remotely close unwanted tabs by simply clicking on the trash can item next to each. I have a Chromebook from this class mirrored to my screen so you can watch how this happens. Watch how quickly Instagram and other tabs close on the student device as soon as I click them from the list. Now I see that Tyler is back on task and can click the back button to return to class view. The Open Site feature allows the teacher to remotely open one or more tabs on student devices, allowing students to get right to work without typing URLs. When selected, the teacher can type an individual URL at the top or select from a list of pre-saved web links at the bottom. In this case, we'll open Edmodo and allow it to apply to all devices in the class. Soon, the thumbnails on class view will update to show the current screens of the students. Site lock is similar to open site, but it opens the sites remotely and restricts browsing to all other sites until released. I will click the site lock button, choose to apply it to all devices in the class, and then select a site. We have an additional option with site lock to force close all other tabs on the device. Last, we'll look at screen lock, which is handy for getting students' attention at the front of the room. This can be applied to individual devices or to the entire class, and a custom message can be entered. When applied, all screens lock, and all tabs will display this message. The release button will release the entire class or individual students. This concludes the quick tour of Chrome tools. Thanks for watching.